Hello there, so it's a bit more of a relaxed video today. As you can see on screen, I'm currently putting together my display base plate for my CMFs. Now, there has definitely been some good reception to the Smiths display, which honestly I shouldn't have been too surprised at. Lego fans go crazy for an awesome display for a cheap price, and the LEDs are going to look amazing in my background. So at some point, I would like to pick them up, but for right now, just to clear my CMFs away and without having to bag them up and worry about them becoming damaged, I am going to use this new clip piece that we got in, that I got personally in the Ravenclaw Lego set. And I do have a spare from that to hang up all my CMFs on a base plate from the last sort of three, four, maybe five series of Lego CMF. But whilst I am doing that on screen, I would like to talk about. The two other CMF lines we're getting this year as we do have some really nice rumours for them. And I'd just like to give my opinion on what I think they would be like. Of course, these are rumours until we get official images from LEGO. We don't really know what we are getting because anything is up for change. But hopefully we do get to see some images of the LEGO CMF soon. And hopefully not before this video goes out because... Last time I put a rumours and releases video out, within 24 hours of that video being recorded and then going live, we got a bunch of new Star Wars sets that I really wish I would have covered and not left till the end of the month. But stay tuned, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on all rumours and releases as they happen that month, as all rumours and releases by the end of the month. And I tend to be able to cover them all and not miss out a few, so... I do apologise again if the CMF images have released in the time it's taken me to upload this video. But we'll start off with the rumoured space CMF. Now, last year saw the release of two licensed CMFs alongside LEGO Series 24. In fact, both of the CMFs were under a Disney licence, which were of course the Disney 100 initially in May after the LEGO one in January. And then by September, we got the Marvel I think actually I've got that the other way around. But either way, one was in May and September might have been the Marvel CMF line, which I think would make more sense because the Marvel ones are still going out of stock as we speak. So they did retire at the end of December and that is usually the way CMFs tend to last for about four months and by that time the next one's out. The only exclusion is really the Lego ones, which... I tend to find you can actually pick up all year round because they probably just make more of them because they're for Lego fans generally rather than specific licensed fans, which I definitely think more people pick up the regular CMFs than the licensed copies. But don't get me wrong, I still love the licensed waves. But to start off with this space one, we are meant to be getting a robot human suit which looks like something out of men in black it really does or doctor who it definitely looks like the tesselector from doctor who which would be amazing to get just to recreate a scene of the tesselector now of course this human suit is meant to be controlled by tiny aliens which is why i'm veering more towards men in black but it would be great to get something like this as it's been used in so many different sci-fi scenes and it's about time Lego adopt it for their own wave. It's very similar as minifigure Jez points out in his video where he does show off images of the potential Lego space minifigures of the Lego set they released of the giant Lego minifigure with the smaller minifigure inside, which is a great comparison for this figure. Now the next minifigure we are rumoured to get in this set, again these are all rumoured but there are a few leaked images out there which I won't be showing today because it's better when LEGO officially announce it and we can take a look at the clearer images. But there's meant to be a classic space robot which has some funky new legs and reminds me of the one they included in the designer's exclusive set with a purple spaceman and the robot from the comics. If you don't know about the comics about the classic space LEGO series then Definitely check out that video as I do talk a little bit about them. Now the third image is a space woman that does remind me of this CMF minifigure we got a while back. Which does look really cool and it isn't the first time we've got the same CMF minifigure down the line in a different gender. 
Lego seem to be doing this every year and is really nice and not only is it inclusive but also helps to build a small collection of these minifigures as they tend to be too unique from the other Lego sets to have any similar minifigures. Now whilst we're speaking on Lego minifigures that have been updated or brought back in some way, this M-Tron minifigure which is an old Lego minifigure from a space line does seem to be getting an upgrade for this set which is very very nice to see a bit similar to the purple space alien we got using the classic space torso it's very nice to see lego reinventing some minifigures we've seen it with the johnny thunder in a cmf a while back also the doc and the lady from the lego adventures theme and johnny thunder is even rumored to be in a few future sets so i'm definitely keeping my eye out for that minifigure to pop up again and I really like Lego taking an old design, just like the Batlord in the recent CMF that I just reviewed. It's just great to get an old Lego minifigure with some updated, not even updated printing, just an updated design to the minifigure. Now, whilst we're speaking of updated minifigures, they have taken a completely new turn with the rumoured alien UFO costume, which is just a starry torso and legs with an alien head in what seems to be some ufo hat i can't wait to get official images on this so we can see it clearer and the next one is even a gray alien taurus which the face looks very similar to another old alien cmf we got we're then getting this alien insectoid which is just an alien spider so be sure you don't mistake this for a spider an awesome molded headpiece which I'm not sure if it would be a new one or if it's based on something like a Ninjago villain's headpiece, but it's cool to get either way. We might be getting a modern astronaut, which takes things up a notch with the backpack and the controllers that come round the side, and does remind me a bit of the backpack and gear that came with the creator set, so it's a nice shout out to that set. And then we're also getting an old icy spacey minifigure updated with what looks like it could be a small penguin mold but of course in a spacey alien theme so we'll have to see some more clearer images i cannot wait to see this one because it does look like it's including one of the old lego visors in a new mold with some nice printing on the actual visor itself which is what we want for Lego Star Wars going forward now that we've got the visor from the Umbara arc. If we can get a nice black strip printed on it, of course, you can grab a felt and default your Lego if you would like. I'm very tempted to do it myself, but we would like to get it officially printed by Lego so that it lasts longer than a typical whiteboard pen. Now, whilst we're on updated minifigures, I feel like half of these are going to be updates to old minifigures. If you remember this Blacktron figure, they have been mutated by the looks, becoming more alien than man, which does seem to be the way the space series is going, especially now that City and Friends are exploring space. We're seeing a few aliens return and also getting a few figures that Lego have always done, turned Lego figures into werewolves and into zombies, four different lines using the same torso and legs or perhaps teared up variants but this time there is a modified minifigure leg with some sort of claw on and this person does seem to be becoming the very thing that they swore to at least explore if not to destroy because lego isn't for violence so i very much doubt the space minifigures would be attacking aliens themselves but it's a nice take on an old minifigure now, if you know your star signs, the next one might be for you. We are meant to be getting an Orion minifigure, which is a star sign. In fact, it'd be lovely to get a shield piece with this star sign on. And there's definitely going to be a few translucent elements, which would sort of be great if we got some of the vision legs for this minifigure. It'd be interesting to see. As you know, if you've watched my illegal techniques, it is exact. It is an illegal technique to have two translucent pieces touching. So chances are we'll get an opaque hip piece torso hands and either head or hair piece i think a hair piece in an opaque color especially a dark blue or purple would be great for this minifigure as i'd really like to get another translucent head but perhaps the best till last and we will be going over some rumors for the second cmf just after this minifigure 
We're meant to be getting a space nurse, which I assume is just going to look like one of the female medical bots from Coruscant in Star Wars The Clone Wars. Perhaps a bit more Lego-fied and less whatever Star Wars was aiming for. But it's meant to be coming with a baby pink spaceman. We know from getting the blue one, it's just going to be a recolor because we've just seen a blue and a white one in a gift we purchase on Lego.com, which only run from the 16th to 18th and you had to spend like £200 to get it so I didn't end up picking it up and I don't really think I'm going to look for the set at all but I'd love to get my hands on that baby white space figure which undoubtedly will be included in something in the near future because Lego doesn't tend to keep many exclusive pieces outside of the licensed sets but I can't wait to get my hands on the pink space baby. Now we also have some rumours on a potential Dungeons and Dragons collectible minifigures. And BrickTap has theorised all the minifigures from this wave. So they're only tech so this is going to be very quick. But we are expected to get a Dwarf Barbarian, a Yellow Gith Yankee, Orange Teethin Sorcerer, a Pearl Gold Dragonborn Paladin, a Halfling Druid with a Fancy Cape, a white Arakokra Ranger, a Mind Flare, a Strad von Zarovich with sword, a half elf bard, a Lady of Pain, a Zaz, Tam, and Tasha the Witch Queen. Which I have no idea what any of these figures are. I haven't played Dungeons and Dragons. I haven't watched it though. The new movie does look pretty cool, and it's definitely something that's going to interest me. But as far as collecting them all. If they have QR codes, I'll probably just go for the pieces that look really cool. Hopefully we get a bunch of different exclusive hair pieces, some accessories for the torso to bulk up some of the characters, much like the Wrecker Star Wars minifigure. As it's only a one-off and we're probably not getting any sets based off it, I don't think they'll go too wild with their exclusive pieces. But either way, stick around. I will be showing off both of the images as soon as we get them at the end of that month. Till then, stay tuned for more awesome LEGO content, and may the bricks be with you, always.